But, hey, whatever. Really? Really? <laughs> In this video, you are going to see me give birth. It's a legacy, the natural birth queen. Oh my goodness. Am I ever so happy and excited to be starting this video. Ooh, 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 ooh. The day is finally here. Today is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. If you are new to this channel, I want you to click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. I'm getting a contraction right now. This is my smile, this is my vibe. I have not timed my contractions yet. I'm going to be timing my first contraction with you beautiful queens. Let's time our first contraction. We're going to be doing this journey together, my beautiful queens. Are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Oh, okay, before I even start timing our first contraction, I want to make sure every one of you queens are subscribed because this is going to be one of the best days of my life because of course I have three beautiful children and my son's birthday! Everyone has to be subscribed. Click that red juicy button down below. Once you are subscribed, we are going to start the contraction. Okay, contraction is starting. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ding, 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 ding. It was 25 seconds to watch to the end of this video because there's going to be a massive surprise at the end. When you came into our lives, it was like you were sent like a gift from God. Specifically, at this timing, I'm just so grateful and thankful I feel like God always knew you were going to be my son. I believe that you were destined for me and you are going to change so many lives just by being here. I want to thank you for choosing me. There's no one else in this whole entire world who has had the opportunity to hold you and cherish you in the most closest way imaginable. And that is in my womb. Mommy will always be there for you, you and your brothers. And I promise to try my best to give you the happiest life you could ever imagine. I love you so much, baby boy. And Mommy cannot wait to see you. This quest of finding my treasure, you, has been one of the greatest journeys of my whole entire life. Oh, I am eating some strawberries now and one of the things that I always educate moms throughout my courses is these foods are going to give you the energy that you need. When you're having your contractions, you're using your uterine muscle. It's one of the largest muscles in the body and this muscle needs energy. You're going to eat lots of fruits and vegetables and smoothies mm. and you're going to stay eating and drinking throughout your entire labor. And you guys get to see early labor, active labor, transitional labor. If you're still watching and you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do so now. Now the contractions are about five minutes apart, still about 30 seconds long, and they feel great, enjoyable, beautiful, and I'm so happy and blessed to be experiencing it. 
There's a lot of questions about how I did my gender test because I didn't do any blood work, no ultrasounds, no medical appointments, no medical interventions, no scans, no prenatal appointments throughout my entire pregnancy. All my prenatal care was done by me. I actually got one of those home gender tests and I did a prick on my thumb and then I sent it to them and they sent it back to me and that's how I figured out the gender that I was having a baby boy. I'm currently 39 weeks. I am going to rest because that is is one of the first steps in the formula to a painless birth and an unassisted birth. Resting is so important, especially during early labor, because you're going to need that energy during the active and transitional phase. It's, it's an exercise. I have to eat. Prince already had his, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have contraction right now. That contraction was 21. 21 seconds long, 15 minutes apart, which is early labor. Early labor contractions are usually 30 to 45 seconds long, 5 to 15 or even 20 minutes apart. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this one was 7 minutes apart. So let's see what the next one's going to be. What do you think? 7 between 10. It's a good guess. Woo! Okay, just got another contraction. So I just want to say yes. Another contraction. Mm. And I just pulled out my own mucus plug, like literally a few seconds ago. Parts of the mucus plug was obviously coming out earlier in the morning, as well as the bloody show. The bloody show and the mucus plug are very closely related, but they are different. The mucus plug blocks the opening of the cervix and it protects the mom from getting any bacteria in the uterus. When blood from the cervix mixes in with the mucus from the mucus plug, this is called the bloody show. Now, the mucus plug is not actually bloody. It should be a clearish color. Sometimes it has like a pinkyish tinge to it. A little bit more of my mucus plug is coming out. I'm having another contraction. This is what birth feels like. Like, wow. So magnificent how human nature has crafted this beautiful experience. You want to see the rainbow? No way. Yeah. There's a rainbow. Look at the rainbow that just came out. I'm so shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at the beautiful rainbow. Oh. Make that rainbow. And you know. Oh. Make that and you know what they say at the end of a rainbow there's a pot of gold or a treasure chest and it's right in our backyard getting another contraction right now so what do you queens think well, do you think i am going to go into active labor do you think i'm going to be in early labor for a really long time what do you guys think comment down below let me know please comment down below leave a green heart with it i always comment with a green heart oh wow you just did this look at the beautiful picture romeo just colored for mommy a little bit longer sure are you sure it's a little tight you are a strong strong boy Long. Thank you. So much ice is perfect. 
when we started, it was only 25 seconds long. Now we are in 37, so almost 40 seconds. We're gonna see if we're getting close to three to five minutes apart. Okay, another contraction is coming. Boom. We're getting a contraction. We're getting a contraction. She's saying yes. Another contraction, trust in your body, trust in nature, and let it be your guide. Say, so, mm, I love oxytocin. <laughs> Why do you like contractions so much? Why do I like contractions so much? Because, and stop. Contractions are my best friends because they're helping me and bringing me closer and closer to getting the baby. Out? Yeah. Or one. We're like this. Best friends. I just got another picture. This one is from Prince. Prince. <laughs> you just gave it to mommy. This is my having baby Ooh. present, right? Yeah. So this is the front. Look how nice that is. Next side. Two labor Mommy, pictures. Mommy. Mommy is officially in labor. active labor. I'm actually going to do a little bit of my course. It really helps with my mindset throughout my labor. The painless birth course is essential for me. It's something that like I have to, have to, have to have this. I believe that it doesn't matter what kind of birth you're having. If you're having a home birth, hospital birth, birth center birth, this course is going to help you really enjoy your contractions. I refresh my memory, I go through everything again. It puts my mindset in an amazing place. You're extremely calm, happy, dancing, talking, smiling during your contractions. Most people won't even know that you are in labor. During this form of birth, you are in a calm, relaxed, and happy state. So this is what the Painless Birth Course looks like. The link is in the description down below. Use code BIRTHQUEEN for 15% off. We are going to have another contraction. To have your contractions and have a painless birth, it's very, very important to stay upright. So staying upright is important because it's using gravity to help bring your baby down. So when you're upright, your baby is able to engage with the cervix more effectively. And even when I was lying down, I was kind of lying down a bit upright so that things can still progress while I was napping. I'm always, always, always either standing or sitting up. Coconut water is one of the best things to drink during labor because it's not that strong in flavor and it's full of electrolytes. So that, even in the painless birth course, you have actually a labor meal plan where it tells you things that you can eat and drink during labor that will help to provide you energy. So, we have another contraction. I'm actually gonna do it on the toilet. So having your contractions on the toilet helps to have you in a supported squat. It helps to relax the pelvic floor and it helps for your cervix to dilate even faster. So my contractions are coming 
way more back to back. Some were four, some were two minutes. So, so my beautiful queens, guess what just happened? My water just broke. Oxytocin. Oxytocin is a feel-good hormone that is released at the start of your contractions and it helps your contractions feel good. Having another contraction already. They're so close now. This one was three minutes from the last one. I want to say thank you to my contractions because you guys have been bringing me closer and closer to meeting my baby. Literally, my water broke. I'm in active labor. I'm truly enjoying this birth so, so much. An unassisted birth is basically when a mother intentionally gives birth. Oh, I gotta stop the contraction. <laughs> Without a trained professional on site, so that would include a midwife or a doctor. I am a certified doula, so I am my own doula. I'm getting another contraction now, and I'm just enjoying it. Like, if you really tap into it, it just starts to feel so good. Like, oh. That. more of my water broke and it felt amazing I just allowed myself to open up and I allow myself to enjoy it as a pleasurable experience contraction stuff I don't hold back enjoy each sensation each feeling another contraction is coming now and I'm excited yes Another contraction bringing me closer and closer to my baby. Closer. Yes, birth feels so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love it. Yes, doesn't it look, look good? Mommy's having a contraction. And it feels amazing. Yes. I'm continuing to leak amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid is clear, it's completely clear. The amniotic fluid is what surrounds the baby when he's in the uterus. The mucus plug is gone, the water bag broke. Contraction. You want to press it? Yeah. Press it. Yay! You did it! He pressed the contraction. He pressed the contraction. Uh huh. He pressed the contraction. Oh oh wait oh wait oh oh no. <laughs> oh oh wait oh wait oh no. <laughs>
Tem mais! <risos> changes your perception of birth. Your amniotic sac, an intact amniotic sac, actually helps to dilate your cervix. Mm -hmm. So if your water hasn't broken in your unassisted birth, this can actually be a good thing because the bag provides even pressure on your cervix and it helps it to dilate more effectively. Use code BIRTHQUEEN for 15% off. There are signs that we are heading into transitional. I have contraction now. It's amazing because I give birth with ease and pleasure. Mm. A little bit of amniotic fluid leaking. two minutes now. I've been planning an unassisted birth. My entire pregnancy has been unassisted. This video is obviously not intended to try to influence anyone to have an unassisted birth. It's truly to empower those who already feel that they want to have an unassisted birth and validate them to know that they can do it. Having another contraction right now, such an amazing feeling birth is so magical. And it's almost done. There. So that one was 40 seconds long and two minutes apart. Another contraction. human nature has crafted this beautiful experience. Well, the kids are sleeping. I'm gonna wake them up when it's time. So that's why I'm a little bit quieter. The head is not there yet, but I'm starting to feel more pressure. So we're going to contraction. Another contraction. I'm gonna time this one for you, beautiful queens. I hope you guys are subscribed to our channel. And I love my contractions. My contractions are my best friends because they are helping me, bringing me closer and closer to my baby. 
And that's what best friends do. They help each other. So we're best friends. We're best friends. We're best friends. We're best friends. I'm the Michael Jordan of giving birth. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you watch to the end because it's going to be absolutely amazing. So click that red juicy button down below. Down below. It says subscribe. It says subscribe. I'm so excited. Yeah, contractions are productive and purposeful. Yes, another contraction. It is the last phase of labor. Contractions are around 60 seconds long. They come every two to three minutes. Like making it through labor and getting to transitional is such a huge milestone. I made it through early and I made it through active. And all of you queens have been watching me do it step by step, phase by phase so make sure to smash the like button because this video is already absolutely amazing absolutely legendary <laughs> i am in transitional labor i am in transitional labor i'm in transitional labor i'm in transitional labor Round of applause for me, a round of applause for you, baby. You did an amazing job. Mommy loves you so, so much. Mom, about to have another contraction. I love oxytocin. so amazing it's important to only watch positive birth videos so that you too can have a mental shift and rid yourself of mbp mbp is a phrase that i created called media's birth perception and that's basically the idea that everything that we've consumed all these years that have taught us that birth is a fearful thing or a scary thing has change the way that we think about birth in order to have a beautiful and peaceful calm unassisted or home painless birth you need to rid yourself of mvp you have to change your mindset and that's one of the things that we talk about in our courses moms who might watch the birth and they might say oh i'm just going to say the things that she says they might not achieve the same results because there is an absolute formula to how i give birth and if you want to learn that you have to put the link in the description down below. Cereal. Aloe vera juice. Don't be afraid to step out of this one way.
did it.
this birth. It was literally perfect. It went exactly as I planned it, exactly as I imagined. No, if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm to attach for all four of my kids. Every single one of them, I did not cut the umbilical cord. Now, of course, that is my choice. And on this channel, we always inspire women that your body, your baby, your choice. We don't have to have and do the same thing. There's many different options of things that you can do with your placenta after you give birth. But the main thing is that we support women in their choices and we can empower them to make the choices that work best for them and their family. The lotus bird, there are several, several benefits. When you do not cut the umbilical cord and you naturally allow it to fall off on its own, you are boosting your baby's immune system. The placenta is filled with so many nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. It's been feeding the baby ever since it was in your womb. It is as vital as and, and important as the heart and the liver and the lungs. It is filled with stem cells, which is designed to protect the baby from diseases. Full of iron, white blood cells, red blood cells. And instead of using that on myself, I would prefer for it to be used on my baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Are you I hope every single person watching is subscribed to our channel. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below. Down below. It says subscribe. It says subscribe. Welcome to the world, baby. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.